This is Indy Nigel. What's up? What's up, yo? So, I am coming on camera, not to do an Ekbedeme video, but to update you all on my power sheets. So, if you've been watching my channel, you might have seen where I purchased my power sheets last year and I've been using power sheets or I used power sheets in 2018. Um, it's so weird that I'm coming to say this again, um, but I haven't been, I didn't complete as of now. I have not completed the prep work in my power sheets. I don't know if that's because I'm thinking too hard about it. That might be it. Or just... ADD getting the better of me. Let me see if I can adjust this thing a smidge. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if it's as a result of my thinking too hard about it, ADD getting the better of me, or just perfectionism getting the better of me. And I am... I have been working through different habits that I'm forming in progress of pursuing my goals. So, for example, and you might have seen this on another, on another video of mine with my budget and my budgeting, I've just decided that I will track these things and like I learned from Stephanie's, Stephanie Fleming, who's the CEO of Mambi Happy Planner, as I learned from her, evaluate without judgment. Just track, evaluate without judgment. Oftentimes when you track what you're doing, whether it's your eating, spending, your weight, you tend to adjust for the better. So with regards to my power sheets, I've gotten to the goal section. I'm writing through and attempting to simplify some of the work some of the work of it is really draining mentally. I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but I work through and work through and get to a point where my brain just says, Oh my God, stop. No, I'm not doing this anymore. And sometimes that happens in other aspects of life. And what do I do? I just stop and move on to something else because clearly my brain has shut down, right? So... Regardless of all of that, life still needs to be lived, work still needs to be done, goals still need to be attained, progress still needs to be made, no matter how small. So I'm taking the Atomic Habit approach. I'm reading this book, Atomic Habits, and I'm learning a lot and putting things that I knew before with things I'm learning now in terms of how my brain works and how a lot of people's brains work generally. It's not in the number of days that you do something, for example, in, in trying to build a habit. It's not just in the, in the number of days, it's in the number of repetitions. And I find, personally, when I repeat something over and over and over again, it gets ingrained. The first few times, it is painful because your brain is actually building new neural pathways. If you read the book, Your Brain at Work, um, you'll really see it. And given that I'm a nerd, the brain is one of those things that I am interested in personally. Anywho, uh, before I continue digressing. So I'm working through my power sheets. And let me show you guys the month of January month of January is basically blank. Well, blank up until the review section. So I decided that I will review the month and choose grace over guilt 
in respect to completing my power sheets. I celebrated some progress in paying off my last store card, so the month of February has begun snowballing for another card, so that's good. I am celebrating that I have something to look forward to when it comes to when my bills that are in the sinking fund need to get paid. Things like, even things like a new bill that sprouted up, my home warranty, you know, moving some things around and like praying and believing some other things won't come up, it's there. So it's not, oh, I need to go to a credit card or anything to do that, which is what sinking funds are for, and which is what building the habit of tracking your finances and committing to either not buying this or doing less of that, you know, would get to. Another thing that I noticed this month, well, I'm sorry, oof, last month, was that I need to just do it. Start and continue keep going even if it's two steps you take just keep doing it because after a point things start to click it starts to make sense the Rubik's Cube starts you know adjusting and the colors start coming together to get a uniform color it's not in a day's work it's not in a week's work a week's worth of work maybe not even in a month, maybe not even in a year. And one of the things I wrote down in my goals was that I wanted to commit to small progress. And it's funny, the, I feel almost like I'm going in a roundabout way, starting from the goals. I started from my word of the year and the goals, and then I came back. And I tried to change it in the middle, and I got stuck, and I was like, oh, I'm not doing this anymore. And then I came back and said, no, it actually all fits. Hopefully this rambling would make sense if you are going back and forth about goals. The thing you're dreaming of doing, the thing you want to do, it's not too late to do it. Go ahead and start. So for the month of February, I have my list of things that... I want to track for my goals and I'm continuing the stuff that I started last year in terms of steps, taking vitamins, reading or listening to my audio Bible and my audiobook every day and what what else? I don't have my planner for December, I would have told you. Oh, the other thing that I am adding is social media free time in the evenings. I've noticed that when I stay away from my phone and stay away from the computer with regards to social media, I, te I tend to have a clearer head. A clear head is very important, especially if you're someone like me who you already have a lot going on in your head. When your mind is going a mile a minute and you know you tend to hyper focus on things or your attention just goes everywhere and you're trying to rein it in. Social media can keep your brain kind of scattered. And that doesn't help, you know, you to feel just together mentally. It doesn't help when you have to go into deep thought. And it can keep you in the cycle of comparison which the Bible says is just not, it's just not worth it. Comparing yourself to someone else, comparing your journey with someone else's journey is not wise. That's what the Bible says. If, if you are um, in that line of life. So I'm committing to small progress. I'm committing to everyday progress. And hope you guys will stay with me on this journey. I think that's it. If I am going to continue this, I will 
show you the setup of my February page even though we are getting to the end of the first week of February I'm still going to do it anyway I feel the momentum building the momentum has built up a bit and I'll just I'll just see and give myself some grace to understand that things will change because that's life and I'll work through it so hopefully this made sense to some of you if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like the video comment down below with how you're doing on your goals your progress how you're setting up and setting yourself up to succeed not just for 2019 but for the rest of your life how are you doing it do you have any tips and yeah let's 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 watch this roll y'all let's watch this roll so it's been real ego B <laughs> as we say in Niger ego B all right y'all take care hope you enjoy